Hey class, we're going to look at our first example of a trig substitution integral. If your original problem has a radical of the form a squared where a is going to be a constant, uh, x squared will show up as your variable, then your trig sub is going to be the square root of the constant. I forgot to add that in there. So you're going to use x equals a, the square root of the constant given, sine theta. And then you'll use your Pythagorean identity, 1 minus sine squared theta is equal to cosine squared theta. And let's jump to an example. We have the integral of 1 over 16 minus x squared. to the 3 halves power dx. Okay, so remember, uh, if you have a fraction exponent, you can also read that as a radical. So because that's a power of 3 halves, that's actually the square root of 16 minus x squared, all cubed. And since that fits our formula from the first slide, 16 has a square root of 4, and so our substitution, we're going to use x equals 4 sine theta. And with trig substitution, just like the other types we've looked at, every part of the original problem has to be accounted for. So we have to take the derivative, and that's going to give us 4 cosine theta d theta. Okay, substituting all this information into the original problem, and I'm also going to change the parentheses to a square root radical. Okay, so x squared is going to become 4 sine theta quantity squared. The dx, I still got to remember to cube that. The dx from the original problem is 4 cosine theta d theta. Under the radical, 4 sine theta, quantity squared is 16 sine squared theta. And I'm going to clean up the numerator a little bit, too. Okay, so let's step back, take a look. I got to remember to cube. Just like any of the problems in this class, if you miss one step, the whole problem is shot. So you got to just take your time, work each step, and be very careful. Under the square root radical, if we were to factor out a 16, we would have 16 parentheses, 1 minus sine squared theta. Let's check that out. Okay, so let's recall 16 parentheses, 1 minus sine squared. From your Pythagorean identity, 1 minus sine squared. Actually, let me just write this out one more step. I don't want to leave too many gaps in the information. Now 
Now, here we go. This part here you can rewrite as cosine squared. And when you take the square root of 16 cosine squared, you get 4 cosine theta. I keep trying to forget that cube. It's very easy to do. Okay, so square root, that's 4 cosine theta cubed d theta. Okay, so if we cancel a 4 cosine theta from top and bottom, that's going to leave a 1 in the numerator, and that will take 3 down to 2. Okay, so picking up, we have 1 over sixteen cosine squared theta. D theta. Okay, so we canceled a four cosine on the top, a four cosine on the bottom, the power of three dropped to a two. 4 cosine theta, quantity squared is 16 cosine theta. Let's factor out a 1 16th. The reciprocal of cosine is secant, so that makes secant squared. The antiderivative of secant squared is tangent. Okay, so let's go back and recall our substitution. We had x was equal to 4 sine theta. If you divide both sides by 4, you get x over 4 equals sine theta. from right triangle trigonometry, if we put one of the, the theta just, it doesn't have to go in the bottom right, but I'm just in a habit of putting it in the bottom right. Sine is opposite over hypotenuse. Using Pythagorean theorem, excuse me, we're gonna get square root of 16 minus x squared. And tangent of this triangle is opposite over adjacent. Opposite from theta over adjacent. Plus C.